what's going on guys today we're taking a look at transformers age of extinction dispensor now this is a target exclusive figure a target exclusive i'm sorry this is a takara exclusive figure and it is based off of the original movie payload now as you can see it is mountain dude up okay maybe not mountain dew but mountain mood or what does it say there mood something Anyway, let's open them up and take a look. This soda-carrying armored car is actually really neat looking. I always liked the original payload from the first movie, and I really like this mode as well. It just looks neat and looks menacing. Now, he does come with his own special weapon, and that appears to be this, like, soda can missile launcher. And the way it works in vehicle mode is you can attach it to either side of the vehicle mode like that. I wish I had two of them. Unfortunately, only have one. But it's a nice addition to the M mold. Now, I wish there was a way, the other way to store it. Maybe store it back there or store it inside. But, uh, alas, there is no way to do that. If you ever own the original payload from that first movie line, then you know how this transformation is going to go. Kind of wiggle the top of the container area off and open it up. And then reach up front and push down the wheels. And then... Push them down and away from the front of the vehicle mode and flip them around in those little pegs that peg in the weapon. They will actually peg into the wheels like that, into the wheel hubs like so. And then the vehicle mode kind of flips around, but we'll start off with the front here. Unpeg the front of the vehicle mode and fold it up, and this will form the legs. And then the back here. We'll flip around, and then we'll attach to the rest of the body. So we'll concentrate on the legs first. First, fold up the grill, and then take the feet and fold them down, and kind of just fiddle with them until you could get feet going. And it does take a little bit of force, but nothing crazy here. So he's going to have some really weird feet, but they're going to be nice and big. Then come up to the arm section and open them up and flip out the hands. And they will actually rotate around. You're just going to have to fiddle with it until you get everything in place. Now, if you're wondering why my video looks so different, it's because I'm using some new lights. I'm actually trying some photo lights to see how they work. And let me tell you, it's real bright and it's real hot in here right now. Oh, there we go. Forgot about that. So there are the legs. Now let's concentrate on the upper torso. The upper part of the bot mode splits open and unpegs, flips around the head, and then the parts fold in and it folds up. And that's pretty much it. And then this whole section is to put, supposed to slide back into the body and then fold down, and kind of sit off to the side like this. And then we have our little grabbing claw attack. Give me more Mountain Dew! Wait, that is not working. Why are you not working? Work is advertised, darn it! So to get it to work as advertised, you have to kind of push it and then really push it hard. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. And the kicker is you kind of have to push on the one side more than the other. Otherwise, it's not going to deploy. Now, to attach his weapon in robot mode, we're actually going to fold the hand back up into the forearm, like that. And then take the cannon, twist it around, and then attach it on, that, on the peg that's on the outside of the forearm. And then we have his cannon hand. One absolutely rad detail that Takara added was this head sculpt. This is a really nice head sculpt. Very Decepticon-y, very, very badass. It's painted well also. The only issue I have with it is it's a different color green from the rest of the figure. Weird. If you were not a fan of the payload figure from the original movie, then you're not going to like this figure. But I really like this figure, and I really liked payload. The only issue I have is, well, I mean, look at that. The, the gimmick kind of ruins 
the overall look of the figure, and it makes it next to impossible to put him on a shelf without him being at the very back. Also, even though this is a Takara release, my figure has very loose hip joints. Nothing a little bit of nail polish remover won't fix, but still, annoying. Overall, this is a really nice figure. Like I said, though, if you didn't like the payload figure from the original movie, you are not going to like this figure. But I love this figure a lot, and let's face it, a murderous Mountain Dew carrying armored car? Yeah, that's a definite must-have. So I hope you enjoyed this video review of Dispensor from Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Takara movie line. I'm Bolt Matrix, and as usual, I'll catch you next time.